Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of ICT Concepts in Crypto. So over the past few days I've been discussing the performance of the dollar quite a bit on our Telegram channel. So just like in my previous videos, I believe that Bitcoin is inversely related to the dollar index and therefore I teach that understanding the dollar or what it's likely to be doing or what it's likely to do is integral to your success, not just as a trader in Bitcoin, but to as a trader generally. So. Uh, Yesterday on the Telegram channel, I uploaded this chart of the dollar index where I outlined the buy side liquidity, which was above yesterday's daily high. And I gave precedent to these equal lows, which was also the daily low. Then at the bottom of the chart, I'd supplemented the Euro USD. And on this chart, I gave targets for the sell side liquidity below at the previous day low, as well as the relative equal highs and buy side liquidity resting above previous day highs. So we teach how price is drawn to these areas, and when price reaches them, we expect some sort of reaction. Okay, so running buy side liquidity or sell side liquidity, particularly if they are located above um, previous day highs or lows, is one part of one strategy in our arsenal theories. Uh, taught by ICT. Okay, so these areas are important enough on their own that yesterday I thought they were worth noting. And the reason will become uh, apparent a bit later as we as we carry on through this video. It will become apparent when I talk about why Bitcoin is doing what it's doing and why the S&P is also doing what it's doing. So let's move over to our main chart, which is our Bitcoin chart. So below this I have the S&P 500, okay, and below that I have the dollar index. So at this point, I would just like to say, if you are new uh, to my videos or to ICT concepts, I suggest perhaps um, starting with some of my earlier videos uh, before, because it will be quite difficult to really understand and follow what's going on here, because I'm going to delve into some uh, relatively advanced ideas and concepts. Okay, so with that in mind, I'm going to draw your attention to this time here, which is at half past eight. Now, here on Bitcoin, we run sell side liquidity, we run below the fair value gap on a one hour, and we retrace back into the premium of this dealing range before price moves down and targets sell side liquidity above the swing low. Now, what you should notice is that we are currently operating at this point in time within the New York kill zone, which is the uh, morning session from half past eight to 11 o'clock. During this session, we should be focusing on our uh, intermarket indicators like the S&P 500 and the dollar index, because they will work most effectively during this time period. So this move down in Bitcoin after rebalancing the steering range is therefore very much related to this run on buy side liquidity before the S&P moves to target lower lower targets, right? And as this is happening, 842, if we have a look on the dollar index, the dollar is currently reaching for its low level target for the morning, right? Which is the relative equal lows. But the interesting thing is it doesn't quite reach for its sell side liquidity before uh, moving up. So why is this? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. If we move over to the Euro USD, we see at 842 or 845, uh, what is the Euro USD pair doing? Okay, well, it's running for its own buy side liquidity above relative equal highs or the previous day's highs. So this is its external range target. After it fulfills this target, it essentially uh, sells off, which gives the dollar a reason to rally. So the Euro USD tags the buy side liquidity, meaning that the dollar doesn't need to go that low before it rallies. Now I know what you're thinking. All you want to know is what Bitcoin is going to do. And here I am showing you a Euro USD chart. But think about what I've just showed you. I'll show you again. Why does price retrace at this point on Bitcoin? It's because the S&P runs buy side liquidity, 
which is because the dollar rallies above its relative equal lows, which is because the euro USD pair has already run its own buy side liquidity, meaning that the dollar doesn't need to go so low before it rallies because the euro is already weak. Think about what I've just shown you. So you might be thinking to yourself that this is contrived or this is hindsight. But yesterday, on my Telegram channel, I only posted uh, two updates. The first one is I post an update on my module that I'm busy with, the Scalp module for the Atlas program, which is over 50 pages long. All right, that I'm releasing for free to anyone who's willing to learn. And my second post is about the dollar index, where I was giving your attention towards the bar side liquidity above the previous day high, the relative equal lows, and on the euro chart, you can see it here, I was pointing your attention towards the sell side liquidity and the, and the bar side liquidity above relative equal highs. Because I knew once those levels were tagged, they were going to have a ripple effect over onto the S&P and therefore over onto Bitcoin. Remember, I mainly trade Bitcoin. So think about it. why am I showing you a chart of the Euro USD and why am I showing you a chart of the dollar index? It's because I understand that those levels have a ripple effect onto Bitcoin and onto the S&P, but at sp specific times, right? For instance, during the New York kill zone or during the London kill zone. Right, with that out of the way, let's jump over back to the Bitcoin chart and I'll just walk you through a little bit about how that morning progressed, keeping in mind that we have the structure and the context of what's happening in the dollar and we have the structure and context of what's happening in the S&P. So uh, after half past nine, we continue to break down further, okay? Uh, Bitcoin runs sell side liquidity and the S&P 500 targets the first standard deviation of the Asia range. Okay, at which point we get the support here, just as the dollar is retesting that level, gets rejected off an order block, it's bearish, continues its way down, and we know that if the dollar is bearish, it's inversely uh, related to, to the indexes, it rallies. So the S&P rallies and Bitcoin rallies. That is not coincidence, that is not contrived, it's before your eyes. Uh, and do forgive me if I do sound a bit animated when I discuss some of these topics, but I really do enjoy uh, what I do, especially when it comes to the, uh, the teaching part of it. And to be honest with you, I really want to expose you guys to the work of people like um, like ICT. Okay, it cuts through the bull, excuse my uh, French, it, it cuts through uh, a lot of the hocus pocus, uh, frankly, palm reading style of teaching that permeates YouTube technical analysis, particularly related to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency topics as a whole. You know, instead, there is a way to understand uh, the markets that move away from these mystic teachings about gold and Fibonacci levels. And uh, if you're interested in learning what they are, you're welcome to join our community and subscribe to ICT. You'll find him on YouTube. Just uh, search Inner Circle Trader. Or you can subscribe to my channel if you want to know how these concepts work in uh, crypto more specifically. But on the other hand, I just want to thank everyone on the Telegram group who has been posting their own opinions and answering my questions. Uh, this one user in particular, I won't uh, name him here, but uh, if you go on Telegram, you'll see his uh, posts. But he literally predicted uh, the Euro USD market and CAD USD pair. Um, you know, those big moves that we saw, he, he was predict <laughs> literally predicted them uh, a day or two before it happened. So that was quite impressive. So other than that, I think I'll catch up with everyone on the weekend. Like I said, leave a like and join us on Telegram if you are interested in more content.